All right, guys, it's 2023. Brand new year, right? And we're going to make a New Year's Day meal. And we're going to do the traditional meal with pork and cabbage and black-eyed peas. And then we're going to share with you why we eat that. Uh, I know normally uh, a lot of people eat ham, greens, cabbage, and don't forget um, the cornbread black eyed peas but we're gonna do something just a little different um but we're gonna incorporate all those basic elements into our meal and it's something we usually eat every new year's day uh and we'll show you what we eat and why we eat it. we wish you guys a happy new year happy new year <laughs> All right, so for our meal, we're going to be having this Smithfield smoked sausage in natural casing. Can soaked black eyed peas, or cow peas, they call them. Velasic old fashioned sauerkraut. We didn't make our own, uh, we do have some homemade in there from last year, but we didn't make any this year. Uh, but we're going to have the Velasic, and we're going to have Popeye chopped spinach for our greens and we're also going to have potatoes with this meal we'll show you how we cook it and why we choose these products to eat on new year's day pretty simple you're just going to get out your pan or cast iron skillet you're going to throw in your sausage and sauerkraut when we cut these sausages we usually or cook this sausage we usually cut it diagonally like this and then we'll butterfly it and uh, lay them flat with the inside cooking on the flat on the hot surface and you let that cook together boil up some potatoes and then we're gonna cook our black eyed peas and our spinach in separate bowls and we'll add a little butter salt and pepper and then uh, we're gonna heat up the sourdough bread we got for from Christmas we have a little bit left we're gonna heat that up to eat with this um, and that's going to be our meal, so stay tuned. If I put those in on high heat, that's going to brown up really nice in there. I just want to put the sauerkraut right on top. All right, so the sauerkraut spread out evenly on top of that sausage. And we're just going to let that cook on a high heat until most of that moisture has uh, evaporated from this, from the pan. And a lot of that uh, flavor will go into the sausage. And a lot of the sausage flavor will go into the sauerkraut. It'll be a nice combination. They'll kind of meld up in this uh, hot pan. And uh, we'll eat it over potatoes. Potatoes we've grown in the garden. Team's getting them on boil. And uh, we're just going to throw the, the spinach and the black eyed peas in, a, in separate pans. And bring them uh, to you know a nice temperature to eat. Just heat them up. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the eating traditions and why we eat what we eat on New Year's Eve and where it came from and the whole superstition behind that. Uh, pork, uh, the traditional meal is pork, cornbread, black-eyed peas, and greens uh, or cabbage. And they represent different things. Now, um, as far as the pork goes, pigs have always been known throughout history, um, definitely in the South, to be to sh be a sign of prosperity. Um, when uh, times were tough, an entire family could could live on a in, even in a hard winter on one pig. It it would uh, supply enough nutrition for an entire family for the whole winter. So that's why that represents um, wealth. As far as all these things together um, represent health, wealth, and prosperity or luck. Um, I don't know if I believe in luck as much as um, intuity and um, perspective and uh, perseverance. But uh, these are supposed to represent health, wealth, and luck in the new year. So along with pick. Uh, pigs we have the greens and the greens obviously represent um money um but back uh the black eyed peas and the greens kind of are together uh in a 
in representation because back it goes all the way back to the Civil War. There were um, uh, small cities in Virginia that um, the Union soldiers had basically destroyed uh, the more lucrative crops, leaving uh, cow peas or black eyed peas, which are basically just considered uh, animal animal feed. But they are high in nutrients, and so uh, the townspeople would eat the uh, black-eyed peas and um, greens and these other uh, uh, crops that the, the soldiers didn't destroy, didn't think they were much use or weren't sold a lot back then as food, um, and they lived off of them and thrived. So that's a sign of prosperity now. And then the cornbread, of course, the golden um, the golden sweetness of the bread represents um prosperity and health uh and wealth all three um and so uh, that's why they brought uh the cornbread into it kind of represents gold or money so the pigs represent uh prosperity the uh the greens and the cow peas represent health uh and prosperity and the uh, greens represent uh, money and uh, and health also. But uh, we're not eating cornbread. We chose the sourdough bread with our meal. So I wonder how that's going to affect our finances this year. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. All right, so as you can see, most of that moisture is out of there. We're just going to put a lid on it. Turn this down on low, let everything else get done, and uh, be ready to eat. Doesn't that look good? Got the spoon from Belinda and Chuck. Hand turned, hand carved spoon. Belinda and Chuck. Go check out their channel right here on YouTube. Okay, we're really close to getting ready to eat. Uh, we're heating up the spinach and the black eyed peas now. The black eyed peas, you don't have to do much to it. I, I don't do anything to this. Add a little salt to it. Uh, that's how I like to eat my spinach, just with salt. The black eyed peas, uh, you can add some butter or some smoke flavoring, salt and pepper. You can sweeten them up a little bit if you want. But I like to add a little uh, bacon grease. We keep our bacon grease in one of these things. And I'll just add some of this. This will add some nice uh, pork flavor to that. Easy peasy. Uh, another good thing is uh, onions, green peppers. They're all good in black eyed peas. Heavenly Father, bless this food and watch over us this coming year, 2023. 2023 is here. We got our meal. We got our pork and sauerkraut. We got our smashed potatoes. You guys got to see that. It's not mashed. They're smashed. And we got our sourdough bread and butter. We got our black-eyed peas here. We're going to share. We'll eat all these. We'll eat all this spinach. I am what I am. G -g 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 -g. And uh, hopefully this will represent our coming year and the health and wealth and luck that we'll have with that. We wish you all a prosperous, healthy, wealthy, and lucky year for 2023. And we thank you guys for sticking around. We're uh, excited for what this year has to come or has to offer. And, uh, we're going to bring you guys with us, right? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, we got our homemade wine from a year or so ago. Now, when I opened this, it did have a little fizz to it. Did a second fermentation, so it tastes pretty good, though. See you guys next time. Peace, y'all. <clears throat>
Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago 